again. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. So today we are going to start a, a new surah of uh, para at, at 28. And as you remember, uh, the, the, the whole, I mean, para, uh, uh, that the, all the surahs or constructs, okay, have been revealed in Medina. And uh, I mean, honestly, it's, it's giving us, I hope uh, this is reaching um, every one of you, it's giving us really more insight on the dynamics in, um, uh, uh, in Medina and touching on a very important, really social, uh, uh, political and economic uh, issues. Okay, oh. and, uh, and uh, the, the, the surah that we are going to discuss, Surat Al-Mumtahina or Al-Mumtahana, uh, uh, also uh, touches on a very, very sensitive topic, okay, in terms of the relation of the newly born Muslim community in, in Medina to, to other uh, groups inside and outside really Medina. Uh, I mean, all of us, uh, uh, when we learned about the uh, biography or the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or what we call Sira. okay, we, it, it, it is obvious for, to all of us that the, the, um, um, uh, the time that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent in Medina was very challenging really time, okay? Because in, in addition to really, um, um, uh, spreading the, the message at, at the same time and, and building that community from inside out, if you like, at the same time, he had to respond to the challenges uh, uh, in Medina and, and outside. Mostly, I mean, like the political really issues, how to deal with all these groups that that uh, do, uh, are are not allowing really the community to to be in peace, okay, and to uh, uh, give um, uh, the chance for Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his followers really to do really their job or to accomplish uh, 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 their mission, okay. Uh, it's uh, and, and so the, it was uh, also time, uh, unfortunately, for a lot of conflicts, okay? There were conflicts with, within Medina, and we have seen that with the, with the, uh, the conspirators or al-munafiqoon, again, this underground movement to disrupt the fabric of the society. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to deal with it. And that phenomenon, uh, uh, and I'm sure you have noticed as you are reading uh, uh, Quran and reciting it uh, during the month of Ramadan, okay, I'm sure you have seen that this phenomena uh, 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 occupies a large space of the Quranic really discourse, okay, because of its really uh, uh, importance and its effect on and its impact on the on, on the dynamics really of the uh, newly born society. Also, we have seen from Surat Al-Hashr that also Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in conflict with of certain tribes who basically were or supposed to be co-citizens of, of the same society. But unfortunately, they did not keep their, their promises, their covenants, uh, their uh, treaties, uh, their uh, agreements with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and so also Muhammad had really to deal okay with this uh, a, a challenging also situation. Don't forget what really the the uh, 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 the Meccans although Muhammad left them but they did not leave him so 
uh, and in, in order for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to, to protect the, the, uh, his community in Medina also had really to deal with all these uh, tribes surrounding really Al Medina. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it is really a uh, 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 it's a multi-directional, if you like, okay, type of uh, of a challenge. Okay, uh, so as if uh, the, the 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 Muhammad Sallam and his community were really facing. I mean, these are challenges coming to them from every direction. I mean, yeah. Then you say. How, how they were able really to deal with all this, okay? And and uh, now when you are in the midst of a conflict, and this is really what where I am really leading, okay? When you are in the midst of a conflict, do you know what is the outcome? Are you hundred percent sure of the outcome? There is a, a chance that you 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 will come of it victorious, or you may be defeated. You, I mean, when you are in the midst of it, you don't know. I mean, for us, when we read history, because we know what was really the outcome, okay? But I want you to imagine yourself in the midst of that, of all these conflicts. What do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel secure? Do you feel that you know what is really the outcome? To be definitely not, but I want you to to read with me verse number seven. And by the way, this surah uh, is composed of thirteen verses. Where do you see verse number seven? Guys, where are you? If you have 13 verses. In the, in the middle. Huh? In the middle. Yeah. <laughs> right away in the middle. <clears throat> so, the, so the center, if you like, or the axis of, of the surah, I think, okay, and you, you, you will tell me if, if, uh, if you agree with that or not. But in the midst of all these conflicts, of unknown outcome to see this verse revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Asallahu an yaj'ala baynakum can you put the verse so that people can read it with me and see the the, sure. inter, uh, the, uh, the at least the, the translation number seven Asallahu an yaj'ala baynakum وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ عَادَيْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ مَوَدَّةِ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ عَادَيْتُمْ Animosity. Okay, if that people that you have, okay, uh, 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 enmity or animosity, okay, and mawadda is love. So the verse is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hopefully, and this is what sometimes may be missing from the, the, the translations. You see the word asa at the beginning of the surah, it is called in Arabic an article of hope, raja. You know raja? is hope okay or when when you are expecting something good that is the opposite of khawf you know you remember you know you know this is that right in urdu do you have the same thing khawf and raja fear fear, fear okay. and well hope. in in the translation it says perhaps i, I was gonna no, ask you perhaps I yeah so it is wrong perhaps Perhaps is la'alla, not ta'asa. Yeah, but they have translated perhaps, yeah, which is wrong. The, 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 this is why I'm making really a, as if Quran, Allah in the midst mm -hmm. of the of these all these conflicts, okay? Um, I mean, and this is really like 
made the minds of, of even the Westerners who really like looked at this and say, oh my God, this, this cannot be coming from a human being because a human being cannot talk in the midst of a conflict that has no known outcome to talk about changing animosity into love. And this should be the hope, your hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the relationship between those who are considered enemies to come a friendly relationship based on mutual love. Love is not like a friendship in the superficial meaning. And we have seen mawadda before. In Surah uh, 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 the Surah that we were discussing uh, before, Al uh, Mujadila. Uh, uh, you remember? لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يوادون. Okay. So the, as you, you remember, we were the, uh, we were saying in Surah Al Mujadila that. Uh, the, the, the surah made a very important yes. distinction between those who basically did, did not accept the new message, but they did not really make any animosity against the prophet and, and, and his companions. So they continued to live peacefully and each one had made his or her choice about really that new message. And you should not, and the surah will talk about, uh, the, uh, Surah Al-Mumtahina will go uh, uh, more into details about that uh, uh, issue. But that was distinguished from those who rejected, but they did not really stop at rejecting the new message, but they showed every type of animosity against the prophet and his, and that manifested itself in uh, 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 driving them out of their places, uh, uh, fighting against them, uh, uh, sometimes making a siege ar around, around them, uh, uh, obstructing their uh, trade routes. I mean, all, all, all forms really of uh, atrocities or violence against really the, 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 the newly born really society. But, can you imagine as if Quran is saying, and this, uh, this is the central verse in the surah, the axis of the surah, that everything is rotating around it. As if Quran is saying, this is really the destiny. This is the, the, the purpose of your journey. The purpose of, of, uh, of your journey is not to make more enemies, is not to create enemies, but to diffuse animosity or enmity. How you can minimize the chances for, for animosity. And, and that should become the hope of the whole society. How come you are asking people to hope for something that they don't know if, the, if, they, if even they survive that conflict. And this is what people really, those who really uh, 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 studied this and say it, it is impossible for this verse to be coming from a human being. It has to be coming from definitely a, a, a higher uh, that goes beyond human beings don't think like that or they don't have that capacity what do you think brothers and sisters i mean this is very important and and unfortunately people don't talk about it 
this is how I look at it. The behavior is really in the opposite, as if we want to create enemies and we are happy about it. No, you should not be happy. Yeah, but, uh, Brother Yusuf, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I when I was reading the surah, in the beginning, the first ayah and the last, the one before last ayah, Mm -hmm. uh, Allah is giving, um, it says that, you know, please do not make friendship with, I mean, it, it, it says the mm -hmm. detail, yeah, but yeah. in the middle, so uh, uh, anybody will be confused in that yeah. sense. But yeah. this ayah, when this came in, I think this is the biggest reality and hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving to the ummah that mm -hmm. it is possible. Well, how it is possible, that's a detail in the surah uh, they yeah, are talking about, which you will exactly. be Exactly, and this is what we, uh, very good, very good. And you, you can see like, you see when you search for, for the axis of the surah, it makes it more beautiful. I mean, like, and easier to understand and not to be confused. Don't mix, okay? Uh, the, 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 the relationship with those who are really, uh, 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 fighting or assaulting you, kicking you are, I mean, um, they are not, if they refuse, if they reject the, 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 the new message, this is their option. And you need, as we'll see in the so you need to treat these people well. Okay? But when it comes really to showing animosity to that, but still, Quran is saying, do not surrender to this, to this reality. Mm -hmm. The reality is telling you that there are people who, I mean, they, they wish you evil. Is that right? But yeah. Quran is saying, do not surrender to this situation. You are bigger. Yeah. You should be higher. And you should really work towards a, 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 a higher objective. How to change animosity into love. And, and I think, um, uh, 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 Brother Shaquille, can you go to Surah number 41, Surah uh, 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 Fussilat? And I think you all know these verses. Uh, verse number uh, number 34. So Surah 41. Yes. Yes. Very good. 34. Now, when you see these verses, you will remember. I'm sure you know you know them. One, one, uh, yes. وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ Doing good is not the same as doing evil, okay? They are not alike. إِدْفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنَ Always do uh, 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 or repel evil with good deeds. فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ I want you to see this is in, in Mecca. Okay? And Quran was really training the, the believers, but at that time at the individual level. اِتْفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنٌ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ If you if you repel the, the, the bad deeds by doing good deeds, in other words, even to those who really wronged you, that will change the animosity into friendship, close friendship. You can see me, is that right? Can you put the, the picture, uh, I mean, the... the uh, uh, so people can see me because I want you to see it like physically. Yeah, I think the people have to do a look at the gallery view in order to see it. I cannot change that. Yeah. No, no, I mean, yeah, but I mean, can you, 
put the uh, um, can they see me now? They should be able to if they're yeah. seeing. The, yeah, you should be able to yeah. see partial. But the yeah. idea is how to change animosity like this into this friendship. Conflict, animosity to friendship and, and love, mawadda. Definitely is not easy. It requires people of high caliber, high character. But remember that this is really the, the destination that the Muslim uh, uh, and the community as individual and as a group need to make this their destination their purpose and and again to to see this verse again in the midst of all these conflicts wow it just speaks volumes that the violence and atrocities and the fighting i mean they are not the main objective the objective is how to restore love, mutual love, mutual friendship among the people. And this is what we are basically going to, to uh, explore as we are really discussing this, this surah. And many times these things emerge from sometimes mistakes being being committed okay and quran will take i mean capture if you like that moment to become a teaching moment yeah i think that's the whole i think the, the our culture became to like the, the can you raise your voice warrior. i I, oh. I i barely can hear you sorry can you hear me now better yeah better yeah okay sorry no i was saying that uh that the culture that we have kind of, you know, attributed to Islam is a lot about talking about fighting. Like, you know, in the in the schools, we learn more about the battles and the mm -hmm. other thing than the good deeds and people, how mm -hmm. harmony we were living together. And same thing, like in the countries now, people are always admiring the, 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 the armed forces because they are the one who are, you know, Greek, you know, doing protecting us, but at the same time, they're not. Same admiration does not go toward people who are creating peace, who are mm -hmm. social, you know, warrior, social justice warrior, things like that. I think you yep. see, it's not just in our community, but it's throughout the humanity. It's yeah. the whole humanity yeah. is like that. They're just. It's mm -hmm. easier to say these are the enemies, and then you just eliminate them. Mm -hmm. uh, that will solve our problem because then we will have everybody that will look the same. I think that's yes. the that's the idea yes. behind it. Like, but yes. it's not. Yes, you have yes. to like person who looks different than you. Uh -huh. You might not uh -huh. agree with them, but you can still be friends with them. Yes, talk to them. Very good. Very right, good. but yeah. that's how you dialogue <clears throat> kind of starts. Yes, Doctor Wali. Yes, please. If you can please, because the ayah you just recited from uh, Surah Fussilat. Yeah. Well, the next ayah is more important. Who can do this? And then the very next one. Wow. Excellent. To me, Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, please. No, I mean, you, no, you can throw a light. So, I mean, these no, no, two please. ayahs are mm -hmm. really, it's, it's not easy, just like you said. The Quran mm -hmm. also says it's not easy for somebody to um, convert animosity into friendship, mm -hmm. but only those people can do it where they're the definition of those people. So we have to have the courage to yes. do, those, do those things, yes. Yeah, and again here, it's good that you... You see, now you are you have better understanding what we have been saying about sabr, patience, mm -hmm. or or to be steadfast. Okay, this uh, patient perseverance. What does it really mean? 
it means continuity of the work. You, you so see we, why, 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 you, why you need patience? Oh, yeah. well, if you are studying for an exam, okay, who will really pass? Um, Those who are really steadfast, who continue to, they are patient, okay, and, and, and staying uh, or studying for long hours, okay, why they are doing this? To see a better outcome. So if they, uh, I mean, put down these efforts or, and they give up, they will not pass. Is that right? So yeah. see how difficult it is that it requires a lot of patience, lot of uh, 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 to be steadfast, okay, or this patient perseverance, okay, and this high caliber, the Hafdan Azim. Yeah, somebody who are outstandingly successful. And now the, 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 the next verse that you alluded to. Who will be, uh, I mean, uh, uh, annoyed by this mostly? Uh, uh, shaitan will be happy if they see, if, if, the shait if shaitan sees what? Friendship? No, they will be, Allah, uh, uh, I mean, annoyed by it. Yeah. Shaitan will be annoyed by it. إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُوقِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَةَ This is the agenda of of shaitan and those who basically follow his footsteps, okay, to spread animosity and hatred. And this, now you can see the connection that the brother Yusuf is talking about, how difficult it is and what type of caliber or high quality human beings to do that. And what are the, the obstacles? There will be people who benefit from animosities and hatred. Um, this is their interest. Right, right, and right. so it, it's, it's definitely you are going against them. Now, yeah. what Brother Shakil was talking about also is very, very, very important. What is then the difference? Is when if when you, why why the emphasis as brother shakil was saying on on this it has to do with the vision how you what is how you order the world around you if your vision is really to increase animosities and to be the, to overcome everybody and to defeat everybody this is this is something and if you say no my vision is really how to convert even animosity to, to friendship, to a, a, a relation of a mutual love, okay? It's, it's a totally a different approach. You see where we, this is where we, uh, so in other words, it's a, uh, uh, the, we are talking about two diametrically opposite paradigms. The paradigm where the, 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 the destination is peace, ta'aruf, friendship, mutual cooperation, mutual love. You see what I mean? And the other vision is really how to create. And this is the only way to, to rally the people behind you is to create a new enemy every day. If this is really the, 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 the vision, definitely the, uh, it will lead to more wars, more conflicts, more discrimination, more violence, uh, people, I mean, uh, 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 suffering, okay? And in one of, uh, I'm, uh, you will hear this more in the next couple of days in, in, in one of the presentation, who would really suffer more? from these, I mean, conflicts and violence and wars. Who? Needy. Women and children. Yeah. I mean, Is that right? Yeah. And Quran, I, when Quran says, وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَوْلَادَكُمْ 
it's not only like parents like presenting them like uh, as a sacrifice, uh, I mean, at the altar of, of, uh, of an idol, but today we see it in different forms. We see it as a result of all these conflicts and famine and, 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 uh, and disease and all these things. Who are really like suffering most? The children, yeah. and the and 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 basic and and and, and they are basically women, the, the, I mean, they have no way, okay, of 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 facing all these situations. Again, but the again, I think uh, this is why you see me all the time um, uh, going to the to. Uh, uh, to the root cause of the problem. <clears throat> so the root uh, uh, cause is really the difference in vision. If uh, uh, if you have heard or listened to the to the presentation about Masjid Dirar, the con when the conspirators built a masjid, can you imagine? The conspirators in Medina built a masjid to rival the masjid of Muhammad Sallallahu what was the difference? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, do not pray in that masjid? There's a trap in that. The two, the, the two mosques look alike. The masjid of Muhammad sallam, and the masjid built by al-munafiqeen, the conspirators, look the same from the outside. They did not have the same values. The exactly. Values the foundation is different. The direction is different. The vision is different. The values are different. Okay, so definitely you you know why why one is accepted and the other is rejected. Although it is called masjid, it's like the prayer. The prayer that doesn't lead to helping others is not an acceptable prayer, but a prayer that may lead to suffering rather than really the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. وويل فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراؤون ويمنعون الماء. It is amazing, okay? Like this is this is courage, my dear brothers and sisters, to say that this masjid is not acceptable. We are not concerned about the the appearances, but what is really behind? these actions um, and again here okay it, it's it's um on on one, don't mix okay don't make those who want to live peacefully with you the same as those who really want uh, the harm or do they want to harm you to divide among you to drive you out, to, to obstruct the, 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 the mission of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They are not the same. But in all these situations, your aim is really to spread love. Your aim is to restore love, to convert even animosity into love. It's very hard, especially these days, because of all these conflicts that, that we see around the world. And people say, what? You are talking about a mutual love? But this is the, the, the strength of the message of Quran. This is the strength. This is not different from, I, I gave you just a glimpse of what, what the, 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 the newly born society had to go through. And yet, عَسَى اللَّهُ أَنْ يَجْعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ عَادَيْتُمْ مِنْهُمْ مَوَدَّةٌ وَاللَّهُ قَدِيرٌ In other words, if, if you doubt this advice or this hope, as if you are really doubting the, the, uh, the, the, the power and the strength of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's, it's, I mean, can do that. No question about it. 
but it's not going to happen spontaneously. It's not going to happen without putting a lot of efforts, patience, uh, perseverance, okay? Uh, 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 using your voice, your time, your uh, uh, efforts, your wealth. You have to put all these together, all these resources in order really to achieve that noble um, uh, objective. And wallahi, I didn't know. I have been uh, quoting this verse, I mean, for, for years. But only when we, I, I mean, I wanted like to prepare for, for this discussion. I said, let me see where, what is the, 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 the middle uh, verse? And it happened to be this verse. It's wallahi amazing. What do you think? But I uh, can I say something? Please go ahead. When 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 you have the, the you have an aim, you have a purpose of the religion is the united the people, mm -hmm. mercy and love. Mm -hmm. Then you have just like an art. How the artist make something that is so nice and peaceful, something bring them out. Mm -hmm. Has the patience, has the love, yes. has the love of your job. Yes. And, and you cannot make anything with the bad. Yeah. Okay, not, won't come out anything good if it's bad. Always is the and good thing is you make it good, it comes out good. Yeah. When you our prophet, uh, when Allah he says the for prophet, he said, you have to live with the people who are fighting with you. The best way that you live with them. Yeah. Be peaceful. Yeah. And so if you saying this, that uh, Allah he says that prophet our our prophet he said if you being mean and and nasty with the around you people they leave you they left you yes exactly no one gonna be exactly yes all yes. purpose of humanity get bring yeah. together with them yeah. how gonna bring yeah. them together yeah but by the way uh, brothers and sisters may may not know that jamal uh, is is very good at uh, planting flowers and uh, and uh, uh, like fruits, and uh, I. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's not a secret to say that I really uh, had the best peaches <laughs> from his garden. <laughs> but what Thank what does that really mean? I mean, you know, from your own experience, brother Jamal, in order to see these uh, good products, this good produce. You, 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 uh, th that means that th how much care you have given to your plants in order really like to reach that level. Um, and, and this is how exactly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described how Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised his companions. كَزَرْعٍ أَخْرَجَ شَطْعَهُ فَآزَرَهُ فَاسْتَغْلَظَ فَاسْتَوَى عَلَى سُوقِهِ يُعْجِبُ الزَّرَّعَ you see, the, it's, it's the, this nurturing of a plant. It's, it, it doesn't come like as if you are a, a carpenter building a table or, or a chair or, or uh, uh, furniture for, for your living room. No, no, no. It is really caring over time. This is where sabr becomes very important. What is sabr again? Continuity. It means there is element of time. This is why you see it in Surah uh, Al-Asr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is swearing by time. Wal Asr. To talk about, okay, watawasaw bil haqqi, watawasaw bil sabr. You see the connection between time and patience. But now time becomes the, 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 the reflection of your own creativity. You uh, perfection. You I mean? Yeah, you have, you have to, yes, the affection, the love, the care, okay, that you need to give in order to, to see that. And then if you, if you succeed inside, there is, 
the potential to succeed outside. But if you fail inside, are you going to succeed outside? It's so more difficult. To, you have Is to get right? peace in your heart. Yes, but I mean, where, where the, the, the job becomes uh, uh, really too much when there is really animosity. How to convert it into, into friendship and, and mutual love. This is really the, 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 uh, the, the most important thing. Okay? But do not, in the name of love, accept what others are doing. If they are doing something bad, evil, you have to, to stand up to that with the aim that it's, 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 it's to restore friendship, to restore peace, not to distort fee, uh, peace and, and, uh, and, and uh, loving relationships. Okay. okay. Now, and with this, you see, if you uh, now uh, we, we always talk about vision and mission, is that right? One is a strategy mm -hmm. and one is tactic. Okay. Now, the vision should always remain okay, mm -hmm. ta'aruf, loving relationships, cooperation, okay, that you find it all over Quran. Okay, but there may be situations where it is very unfortunate. Where I mean, the uh, the the, the, uh, uh, the relationship, okay, may may not, uh, 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 or the, it deviates from from that main vision, and you have to deal with it, but tactically. Okay, take care of this issue, but don't forget what is your strategy. Okay, all right. So if we start from uh, the, the first two verses, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tattakhidhu aduwi wa aduwakum awliya. You see, it's very similar. It's really extension to what we were discussing in Surah Al-Mujadila. Okay. Here, we are not talking about people who rejected your, the message, the new message, or, or they, they, uh, they denied, let us say, the truth, okay? That's fine. This is their choice. But they did not stop there. But they start showing you the animosity, okay? And 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 it's, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is is putting Himself and the believers on the same axis. Adu'wi wa adu'wakum. So they were not only uh, enemies to you, but also enemies to me. <clears throat> this type of people, you should not have an alliance with them. لا تتخذوا عدوي وعدوكم أولياء تلقون إليهم بالمودة. Oh, very beautiful way of putting it. Quran is not saying, okay, you are going, you are showing them love, but you are throwing towards them your own love, as if like like uh, uh, ألقى. It's like when you uh, uh, throw something or something fell, uh, fell, falls from your hand, okay? As if you are really sharing with, with others, okay? Um, and and, and, and uh, the, the love in, in a random way. We, as if you are doing it without thinking. No, no, Quran is saying, stop, okay? This is, this is the, the, there is no place for this in this situation, very narrow, specific situation, because you are talking about people who are really putting every effort to harm you. 
they are true, okay, enemies, okay? Waqat kafar, how come, Quran is saying, how come you are really ex uh, 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 exchanging with them a, a, a loving relationship and they, they rejected the truth that came to you, but they did not stop there. يُخْرِجُونَ الرَّسُولَ وَإِيَّاكُمْ أَنْ تُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ رَبِّكُمْ They so are they... driving you out and the Prophet for the only reason that you believe in what came to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the truth that came to you. Now, in kuntum kharashtum jihadan fi sabili wa kira amardat. If you are, if you truly have come out, okay, to uh, to to struggle in the way of Allah subhanahu wa taala, to put all your effort to protect the new message. How come you go to your enemy and? make alliance with that enemy or share with that enemy a secret to siruna ilayhim bil mawadda so behind the back if you like of the leadership and the back of the whole community you go and make alliance with uh, uh, with the with the with the enemy وَأَنَا أَعْلَمُ بِمَا أَخْفَيْتُمْ وَمَا أَعْلَنْتُمْ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْهُ مِنْكُمْ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ سَوَاءَ السَّبِيلِ If you think that you have done this secretly, no, I know it. If you, I know everything you do secretly, privately, and openly. And what you have done is really deviation from the straight path. Let me tell you what, what is really behind really that, that important verse. Um, Muhammad Sallam was planning to go to Mecca. This is around the, the year of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. And Muhammad Sallam, as, as a, a military leader, okay, I mean, in the time of, uh, 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 of, of, of conflicts, he doesn't really uh, do things openly so that his enemies will not be aware of his plans. He always wanted to be ahead of his enemy, not the other way around. And so he would uh, uh, order his companions like to, to march into uh, in, in, in a certain direction, but he, would, he had a different direction in his mind and has a plan. So he would tell very few people about his exact plan and give a general thing to, to, the, to, to the rest so that he will keep his, his uh, 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 plan known only to few people that basically he trusts, okay? And uh, uh, what happened in, 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 uh, in that, uh, at that time, that one of those people, Quran doesn't really mention names, okay? But what is important about that incident, that uh, his name is Hatib ibn Abi Balta. Anyways, but this guy Hatib was among those who were, he, he was a present to, uh, on the side of Muhammad Sallallahu during the Battle of Badr. And you know how these people are valued uh, to, uh, because they had really to overcome so many things in order to be with the Prophet at, at, at that uh, pivotal, really, uh, time and uh, pivotal uh, uh, circumstances. Okay? So that person, Hatib, was among those that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them about his exact plan. And that person uh, was originally from Mecca and he migrated with the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam to Medina. 
but he left behind in Mecca his wife and his children. Now, knowing that Muhammad is, his, his real plan is to go to Mecca, it means that there will be fighting or expected that there will be fighting with the people of, of Mecca. And in that situation, um, knowing that his, his wife and the children were left behind, there will be nobody to protect them. And so he was concerned that if fighting erupted, his, they, 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 his wife and his children will be in a very dangerous situation. They're, so in a very threatening situation. So, the, so he passed that information to the uh, uh, leaders in, in Mecca, or he wanted to do that by writing a message and giving it to a lady who, uh, who came from Mecca and was planning to go back, so he sent it with her. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uncovered that plot, okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, made Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam aware of that. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam immediately told his companions, a few of his companions, to go after that lady. And he gave them the exact place where she is going to be. It is amazing. The exact place. They went and they found her there and they threatened her. Either you give us that letter or we are going to find it our own ways. Because this is really, I mean, a, uh, uh, an emergency situation. And after, I mean, uh, under pressure, she, she and, and the threatening, she basically gave up and ga gave them really that, that message. And so they brought it to Muhammad Sallam. He brought Hatib and said, what is this Hatib? What have you done? You won't really like to to give our secrets to the to the to uh, to, to the uh, uh, to the elites of of Mecca. At that point, Hatib basically explained that he is not like someone who is rejecting the truth or rejecting the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He doesn't. I mean, did, he did not do that because he. He want to be on, on their side. The only reason he did it is really to protect his own, own family. Because of his history, Muhammad, I mean, I mean, can you imagine in this situation what would be the reaction of the people? Let us kill him. Muhammad Sallallahu said no. This guy has, uh, uh, has witnessed Badr. He, uh, I mean, his, uh, in other words, his, his history, okay, uh, uh, basically absolved him, if you like, and and uh, uh, saved him from from I mean a uh, a more really like uh, 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 more serious really outcome, which maybe sometimes may rise up to treason. Uh, it's very interesting that Muhammad Sallam did not go that that way uh, uh, and uh, at least uh, he convinced the people around him that because of his uh, uh, history and, and, and his sacrifices and everything and it is and now I know for what reason and also we have to take into consideration uh, that these things can happen these things uh, uh, the uh, uh, and and it was as I said from the beginning that it was really a teaching moment because again the the the, the argument in the in the first uh, 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 verse we recited and discussed uh, it's very interesting that it's a, as if it is telling Hatib and the people who may act in, in a similar situation. Okay, you are refuting your purpose. How come that you are coming out, you are going to Mecca, okay, uh, to, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this should be in, in, in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you go behind, okay, the back of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and give secrets really to the, to the enemy. 
again, I mean, it, it, uh, it doesn't work. I mean, these are really contra contradictory to each other. In kuntum kharashtum jihadan fi sabili wa ptigha'a mardati. How come you take your enemy and the enemy of Allah and the enemy of the whole community, the enemy that uh, drove you out with the Prophet and for the only reason that you, uh, because of your belief, of your conviction, of your uh, choice. And, and so uh, the, uh, the, again, it was a moment to understand, okay, what should be really, how you treat the enemy, how to treat those who are peaceful, okay? And uh, how to really uh, uh, protect the, your, uh, your community and not really like to give them uh, 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 your own secrets Okay, and and and, uh, and 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 a time of of conflict and and the clash. This was such a significant event that uh, with so many lessons, the Quran has yes. to speak about this event. Yeah, it's such a significant event. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and and you are right. I mean, you see, Quran is uh, does is is very. Uh, 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 what we call it. Uh, uh, I'm not able. I I I uh, I would get it. I'm <laughs> I'm thinking a little bit in Arabic. Uh, um, uh, so in, in other words, Quran is uh, doesn't hide. Okay, uh, 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 doesn't have to hide anything. Uh, okay. But and 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 on the on the contrary. It, it is, as I said, it is a, a, a moment to teach the community very important lesson. And solving the problem doesn't, again, uh, uh, have to be by eliminating the person who yeah. made the mistake. You see, again, I, 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 I don't think if Muhammad Sallallahu decided really like to execute that person, okay, nobody will blame him. This is, again, as a, a, this is really a treason. But Muhammad also uh, 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 had the capacity, okay, and the courage to say, okay, it is a mistake. The person admitted, and it, is, it, it was uh, done for personal or, uh, or family thing. And... And Quran is saying, okay, why it, 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 it is illogical. I mean, the logic that this companion followed is faulty. Why? Because Quran is saying in, in, the, in the second verse, in yakun lakum and, uh, Do you think that if you give them secrets, they will treat you nicely? If they see you, they will definitely, uh, they will harm you. Yep, so too, uh, they will harm you physically and, 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 and psychologically. Yep, so too, they will extend their hands and tongues. I mean, like, again, in a metaphor, which means that they will harm you physically and psychologically by their hands, by their uh, talking, by their tongues, okay, Bisu with everything that is bad and evil and harmful. وَوَدْ, and on top of that, do لَوْ تَكْفُرُونَ Or in that they will be doing this in the state of hoping that or loving that you reject that truth. This is the aim of, of the enemy, to convert you, <laughs> okay, to bring you on their side. So you, want, you wanted to help them to protect your family. The, the, in fact, this is not going to happen. The opposite will happen. If they meet you in Yathqafukum, 
yakunu lakum, that will not change that uh, relationship of animosity. And they will, you will be harmed twice. And you will see that what you have done did not even benefit you, but harm you in addition to harming the whole really community. And look at the last verse. The last verse is really like compatible or complementary to this. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. لا تتولوا قوما غضب الله عليهم قد يئسوا من الآخرة كما يئس الكفار من أصحاب القبور. You see, yes. Don't make alliance. لا تتولوا. The people that that deserve the wrath of Allah سبحانه وتعالى that are disgraced from Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Okay. The people who have been condemned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want to, to make alliance with them? These people, Quran described them that they, they are desperate. Okay? They are in despair about, about al-akhirah. They don't believe in something coming after this life. They have no hope for something the same way, okay? The, uh, the people have no trust. They are, uh, 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 they, they, the, uh, they are disappointed, if you like, from the people in their graves. That be people, in other words, this is very beautiful. And honestly, I, 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 again, I have been thinking about this verse for years. But again, when you think about it, like separated from understanding the whole surah and the structure of it, now I can see it come very compatible with the first and complementary to the first two verses. Okay, that ha, do, not, do not put your trust in the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have condemned. The people who are treating you and Muhammad sallam and Allah as their enemy. Don't trust them. If you trust them as if you are trusting a dead person. Who trusts a dead person? Can you put your trust in a dead person? No. You see that this is this is the the thing, and I I really want you to see this verse that that made me also understand this situation in Surat Al Furqan, I think. Yeah, Surat Al Furqan, number twenty-five. Why? Let me ask you this question. So, verse number fifty-eight. Let me ask you this question. Why do you put your trust in Allah? Look at the verse. وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى الْحَيِّ الَّذِي لَا يَمُوتِ I think Do you see answer, it? Can you hear me now? وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى الْحَيِّ الَّذِي You put your trust in Allah because he doesn't die. He is alive. I mean, this is the highest level of a trust. You should put it in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is there all the time. He's not, he's always present. But whoever you put in as a human, they are going to die one day. So my point is the, the making alliances with the enemy, it is similar to putting your trust in the dead. Because they don't even believe in a life after this life. So do they have any trust? So basically they, they have no hope. 
of the people who basically in their graves. So they're, they're, they are bereft of hope in another life the same way they are bereft of any hope in those who are in their graves. Dr. Walid, can you hear uh, Brother Noor? I don't know. Noor? No, no, I did not. Oh, can you raise Brother... your voice, Brother <clears throat> Noor? I think you need to unmute first. You're a mute. Yeah, OK, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right, so a couple of questions. Uh, the first one you asked, the, the question that you asked, who or why should we trust Allah? Because Allah himself says, that while Allah right? That's number one. Can you hear me? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think the verse from Surah Al Furqan said, Right, right. Uh, so, you, so you cannot put you, my, I, I'm show, trying to show you that the opposite doesn't work. You cannot trust a dead person. What do you expect yeah. from a dead person? Of course. Can you put your trust in a dead person? So, so the, uh, the same thing, the, the Quran is saying, you are really put, trying to put your trust in your enemy. It will be the same as putting your trust in a dead person. They are not going to help you. You see, like, like this companion who tried really like to help himself by by uh, or protect his family by helping the enemy, Quran is saying it's not going to, you are not going to get that benefit. They will be, uh, they will show your animosity anytime they meet you. And you will not, you, you have harmed yourself, your family and the whole community, including the prophet, but what you have done. So Quran is, 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 is making that argument to convince the, 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 the community of believers is this is not the way how to deal with, with your enemy. But do not forget that you have to diffuse that animosity, not by giving them secrets, not by really suck, like uh, uh, accepting what they are really doing, not by condoning what they are really doing. As we said, these are condemned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How come you uh, try to, to make an alliance with them, uh, sh sharing with them the secrets of, of your leadership? So, Dawid, uh, yes. again, one more question. Okay, so. Yes, please. Uh, in fact, Allah has given even a more sterner warning in the Surah Ali Imran when Allah says, "La yattakhizul mu'minun al kafirina awliya amin dun al Exactly. Exactly. Yes. min Yes. Very good. So again, the, the, uh, like as if Quran is saying, you have to be diametrically opposite. Okay. So again, at and, and, and this, and, and it, uh, tactically, at the time of conflict, okay, but strategically, you have to work towards diffusing that animosity. But you cannot diffuse that animosity by sharing secrets. You cannot diffuse animosities by accepting what they have been doing to you to your community, to the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam. This is why, okay, لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين. You don't really do that at the expense of the relationship with the believers. This companion did something wrong that he basically wanted to help his family by really putting the whole Muslim community in Medina and the whole army of Muhammad وسلم, at risk because he shared secret information with the, with the enemy. Make sense? Yeah. 
very good. So this, again, I mean, we have to differentiate what you need to do at the moment when there is conflict, but what is really my vision in the, into the future? Keep this animosity or uh, like uh, uh, fueling it further and further, or we need to think differently how to diffuse. And inshallah, when we uh, look at the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the other parts of the surah, okay, we hopefully will have more insight okay, on how the, the Muslim community had at that time how to behave okay, to protect themselves and at the same time bring a different model that even your enemies will start to love it. You see, they, they will see in you something that will say, oh my God, what we are doing is nothing compared to what that community have achieved. And this is what we are going to discuss, inshallah, in the next uh, meetings. Brother Walid, can I, do we have just a minute or so? I want to maybe ask you a question. Please. Okay. So the, this is the, the month where we try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Yes. Uh, you know, now, our prophet, uh, toward the end of his life, uh, this is the, according to hadith, he uh, asked a, a question, and that is actually making me uh, ask myself a lot of questions. He famously said that, Ya Allah, we have not known you as we should have. Uh, are you aware of this hadith? Um. You see the, the I mean, the, the, I think what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and really this we say something similar every day after Taraweeh. لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك. We are trying to praise you. We are trying to thank you. But we are not able to do that the same way you have praised yourself. Mm. You see, because you, no one can know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, totally. Right. You see, th this type of knowledge is a, a, a journey. You see what I mean? So the same way you are getting closer to him. Right. But yeah. it doesn't mean that we are going to, to have full knowledge of, of, uh, of him. Okay, uh, but we right, right. It's, it's a struggle, a continuous struggle. Okay, right. so what, what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that at every level, I get the closer to Allah, I feel that it is not enough to thank him. I have to move into a more advanced position. Right. So, and so uh, he will make, and so he will make istighfar. What does it mean istighfar right. to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? That in the I don't want, I, I will be mistaken if I stayed in that position. Although it is very high and close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mm. but for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will consider it as a mistake that he will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness mm. in order to go to a higher level of gratitude. Afala akunu abdan shakura. So it is really a continuous liberation from any state that Muhammad Sallam or any one of us can reach, okay, to go to into a higher one. Mm -hmm. And this is why Imam Ali put it very beautifully. And ta'bud Allah shukran fatilka ibadatul ahrar. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of the gratitude, which means that you have to move because you cannot thank him enough. So you have mm -hmm. to move closer and closer. In other words, you are to have to liberate yourself from a previous positions. And so he said that this type of worship is the worship of the free. Right. You so, got it? Uh, yes, I, uh, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> no, it's, so again, no one can have full knowledge, even Muhammad right. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. right. That, you see, and I'm he has it. to continue this struggle or this really effort of getting closer and closer to him.
Right. So but this kind of takes me to uh, the ayah in Surah Luqman when Allah says, Walau annama fil arda. Exactly. Yes. Aqlam. Aqlam. Mm -hmm. la so la these are the meanings of the yeah. words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. The revelation itself. Okay. The number of words are finite. But the meanings are without borders. Exactly. exactly. Unlimited. Right, right. Yes. And uh, uh, one final, uh, if, we, if you don't have the time, just to uh, No, no, so, please no? go ahead. Okay. The, the, the other, I, when uh, Muhammad Sallallahu he said that, uh, well, an aslim li rabbil alameen. Okay. Yes. The, the word uh, aslim, and I think yes. you have discussed in previous uh, discussions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think, I would think that very few of us really understand the, 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 the expanded meaning of this aslim. What does this really mean? Wallahi, brother Noor, based on what the discussion that we had so far, I mean, the, uh, 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 I mean, the things that I have said, uh, for the last few moments. Islam then becomes the degree of your freedom. You see, the, in other words, you are freeing yourself in, in your journey towards Allah. You see, you are freeing yourself from anything that comes between you and Allah. Yeah. This is Aslama. You see then that, that you're, you're, uh, 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 you are purifying, if you like. You are liberating your path from anything that comes, which is not an easy thing because so many things come in be between us and Allah, our own ego, our wealth, our position, our status, our, I mean, anything right. you see can come between. So uh, the, uh, 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 I think Ramadan, is really one of the best train sessions, training sessions every year, okay, to teach us to say no, mm. to say no to anything that comes between us and Allah. What does it really mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to punish us and ask us not to eat and, and, and drink, or it is really training for us. If you are able to say no to, to even the simple things, Okay, to your immediate desires, which is thirst and hunger. Okay, then it, 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 you are in a better position to say no to other things. Right. To say no to anger, to say no to injustice, to say no to, to uh, 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 killing children, to say no. You see, all the no's becomes e much easier. And every time you say no, you are really liberating yourself. La ilaha illallah. You see the negation. It yes. starts with negation. Right. And I really recommend, especially for you, because you mentioned to me that you have not read some, uh, I, I think uh, Iqbal rahimahullah spent a lot of time and uh, put a lot of effort and uh, I think that uh, 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 that particular issue, the negation and, and its relation to freedom, okay, has occupied a lot of his, of his literature or his basically poetry. So mm -hmm. I really urge you to read um, that, that because that it's, it's very well really like uh, uh, demonstrated, I would say. Mm -hmm. it will, uh, you will enjoy it. You will okay. enjoy it. Yeah. Sure. So keep in mind uh, the, the dynamism. Mm -hmm. And Iqbal was among the few in, 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 in the modern time who really spoke, I mean, a lot about the dynamism of Quran. So if I don't see Aslama in a dynamic way, it's not just saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and that's it. This is just the beginning. Right. Aslama wajjahu lillahi wa huwa muhsinun. In a state of doing good, bringing goodness to everything. Mm. Insha'Allah. 
جزاكم الله خيرا ثانك يو فيري ماتش ثانك يو فيري ماتش ثانك